What is this vlog, Jeffrey? <laughs> this is for the video, okay? I'm eating, bro. in Fredericton. Check out our plane. We're flying on a Q400 Bombardier plane. Hold up. Uh, so yeah, we just arrived. Uh, we're excited to meet everyone. We got a lot of work to do this conference. Uh, a lot of emotions to pass, a lot of people to meet, a lot of relationships to uphold. Uh, so we're super excited to do that. Stay tuned for a lot more and uh, peace. Fredericton, University of New Brunswick. Uh, it's day one. We're just getting to know everybody. What's up, Esco? What's <laughs> up, Jeffrey? <laughs> so yeah, we're out here at CFESPM. Uh, we're gonna meet up with the rest of the delegation in a couple hours. Uh, meet up with all the other member schools here, coming all around Canada, which is pretty awesome. So we're excited to network, make some new relationships, and steer the nation. Give me a high five, dummy. Uh, <laughs> Hey Ryan, what's up? We're in New Brunswick. Uh, it's it's an awesome time. Uh, we just finished lunch and we're going to go to the start of the conference. As you can see here, this is the campus for University of New Brunswick. It is pretty clean, pretty nice. Not like our commuter school, but it's a it's a really good experience. As you can see, you can keep walking, cameraman. Thank you. Uh, it's so nice. And the weather here is pretty nice with southwesterly winds of 15 degrees. It's pretty good. Hey everybody, uh, we finally made it to Camp Medley, so that's our final destination here at Fredericton. Um, so we're super excited to be here, we just got moved into these awesome cabins as you can see. Um, so Ontario is in one cabin, that's pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, I'm just excited to spend the next four days here. Right now we're about to have an inclusivity training. Um, so the person beside me is Alessandro, he's one of our delegates here. Nice to meet you all. Uh, he's representing Ryerson as well. Uh, so yeah, we're super excited and I, I can't wait. We'll catch up with you guys soon. Folks. What's up, Ryan? We just finished day one. It was an awesome time of networking. Uh, we got to meet every single delegate from the school. Uh, we also had some awesome inclusivity training uh, done by Ryerson um, and also another, uh, another student from U of T. It was absolutely amazing. Um, it was from Edge Queers Canada. Uh, we learned a lot and a lot of things that you don't usually think about about inclusivity and it was really cool to learn about all that stuff. And the networking was amazing. We got to meet everyone, which was great. We got to see how their schools worked, what they did, their positions. Um, and it was cool to see how different schools are from the West Coast to the East Coast to how we are here in Toronto. So yeah, it was an awesome first day. Uh, we're going to bed early because tomorrow's a jam-packed day with sessions and things we need to do. So stay tuned. Go switch off the lights, Jeffrey. Good morning, Ryan. Just day two here at CFBSPM. Uh, we're here at Camp Medley. Um, as you can see here, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, right by a lake or a river. A river, right? 
Uh, yeah, we look forward to day two. Uh, just having a quick walk around around the camp, enjoying the scenery. And yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. What's up Ryerson? Um, I just want to say we had an absolutely, oh it's raining out here, we had an absolutely amazing session. Um, so it was the questions and deliberation with the execs and all the officers on CFES and exactly what they're doing and how they're affecting the nation. Um, and it was absolutely amazing seeing the work that this organization has been doing um, on behalf of Ryerson, on behalf of all these member schools. Um, we've been doing some great things in academics, some great things in partnerships um, and helping out all the schools out here. Um, so one of the cool, cool things that, I, that happened is uh, when we spoke to the VP academic, um, it was a one-on-one -on -one type thing uh, with just some member schools. We found out that he's looking into the learning accreditation from the accreditation board for engineers. He's making, putting together a survey to understand the impact that this is happening and also understanding the students themselves as well, the amount of hours that we actually put into these courses and how we can bring that back to the accreditation board and change it appropriately to reflect how the students are now. So. Now we're gonna have lunch and there's tons of other deliberations that happen too. Um, the, my other delegates that came with me are gonna talk about them. Uh, but now we're gonna have some lunch and uh, we'll get back to some more day one, two, day two stuff. Hey Ryan, how's it going? Uh, so this is day three here at CFES PM. Uh, so yeah, we're super happy to get back to you guys. So we just finished our lunch today and we also had some awesome sessions in the morning. So something I did this morning was a FEZA um, in the VP International discussion. So what FEZA is, the International Federation of Engineering Students Association. So what we talked about is basically how we're gonna organize that structure, um, how the execs are gonna look like, also basically how the international engineering competition is gonna look like around the world. So we got some great partner organizations, something called Bonding in Germany. We got Best in, in Europe um, and also NASIC which is our American counterparts so all four of these big organizations were coming together to make this international engineering competition and EFESA as a whole. We talked about a VP international so basically making a new position on CFES um, and basically will be our international representative for Canada um, around the world for this organization this international organization so yeah that's what I did today this morning so I was in a in a roundtable discussion for CSC and Congress so as you folks know Congress is the general AGM meeting for CFES which happens in January it's a four to five day conference and it's really nice it's really well done um, one of the things that we discussed about was why it's being cut down from five days to four days so that it's more jam-packed and it's more so because like sc smaller schools and other schools who c come from far away do take a lot of stuff out of their time do take a lot of time out of their daily stuff and that's why it was condensed uh, moreover what was interesting was CSC which I really love talking about it stands for conference of sustainability uh, and the one thing we really talked dived into pushing sustainability into the conference for example one of the most interesting things that they talked about was that in normal conference things being vegetarian is a dietary restriction but for this conference being a meat eater is will be a dietary restriction and I gave them a brilliant idea of how you can get different companies like like in Toronto we call KPMG or OPG to come in give their cases so we we kind of like talked about that how you can get big organizations to come in with their problems uh, and then we as engineers can solve them and that's one way to get our money but and prizes so that was amazing it was really nice because you can really feel how different schools 
give their input and that's what we did today. And like the networking aspect in the past couple days has been absolutely amazing. So meeting all the schools here, like every single one of them, understanding their concerns and what they bring to the table is like Ryerson can really learn from all these schools no matter how big we are as a school. So that's it and we'll catch you later. Hey Ryan, how are you doing? Uh, so this is day three, slowly coming to an end. We're approaching dinner time right now. We just took our group photo. Let's do a quick pan around. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it was awesome, yeah, meeting all the other schools. We got a lot of stuff done today. I think we're going to talk a little more about it after dinner because we got some final presentation reviews we're going to do during dinner. Um, so we'll get our final points sorted out and then I'll present to you guys after. But yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Today has been so much fun and we've gotten so much done. I'm really happy with Ryerson's progress here. I think we really made an impact and we really showed that we're a very big school. Yeah. That's Dave. <laughs> Dave is the CDE activity manager, uh, representing Ryerson and hosting CDE at Ryerson. How dope. Okay. Hey Ryan, so we are here with the chair of the conference. Chairs. 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 So chairs, 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 chairs of the conference and uh, just want to introduce you to them and we want to ask them. So how much fun is it planning such a good conference? I think it's super fun when it actually happens. Uh, the planning part, maybe not so much. Yeah. Um, but we're just super pumped now that the weekend's here and it's gone so well. Mm -hmm. And it seems like everyone's enjoyed their time and I can't ask more than that. Cool. Yeah. yeah, we're so happy that everyone's here and having a good time. Awesome. So why this location? Tell us why and our lo remote location. Uh, Tell our, uh, yeah. <laughs> our uh, 500 followers. <laughs> Um, so President's Meeting, the Canadian Federation of Engineering Students President's Meeting is always held in like a retreat style location. So it's like a camp usually. Um, so we were just looking for something that's like a bit more out in nature, that could sleep all the people, had a big enough room for general assembly or for sessions. And uh, Camp Medley has been super awesome to us and they gave it to us at a great price. So. It's fun and down to earth, so it's yeah. nice. Perfect. So that, those are the chairs of CFESPM. Thank you so much, Ryan. I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> How are you doing, Ryan? Today is day four. It is quite early right now. Um, as you can see here, we're boarding to leave Camp Medley right now. Um, we're going to our GA, so our General Assembly. So this is the time where all of the member schools here, we go to sit around a big table and uh, we basically discuss things that can affect the province and we vote on things. This is a time when things actually happen, when we motion things, we take stances. Uh, we basically steer the direction of the CFES officially. All right, hey Ryan, what's up? So we just got off the buses uh, with all our luggage, as you can see. Um, but we're here, we're at the Canadian Legion. We're here for the General Assembly of the CFES PM. Um, so, we're, so we're super excited, so let's get in there. Hey Ryan, sorry we couldn't show you too much of plenary. It's a, it's a close discussion between the voting schools. Um, but we were in there for a full four and a half hours, so quite a long time. And I have to say we got quite a bit done. Um, there were some topics that were tough to discuss, but I think the CFES and the membership schools were able to do the best they could to answer them appropriately. So a couple of key things that came up was gun control. So gun control and how the CFES is going to take its stance on it. Um, if you want to know more details about that, it's in my report. Uh, but it was a very heated discussion. There was both sides at play, um, but it was some good discussion. I think the best decision possible was made at the end of the day. Um, there was also some other discussions about how the CFES uh, is able to make its members travel, so the 23 officers they have, 
Um, and that was some heated discussion as well and whether if it was appropriate to set caps or this or that. Another big thing was the big difference in schools that are in member societies under the CFES. So understanding that there are larger schools with quite a bit more students and money and there are some smaller schools with quite lower financials but and lower students as well, lower amount of students as well. And I think one of the biggest things that we accomplished in that is that we understood the difference um, on how we send delegates to conferences and basically understanding proportional delegate sending um, in that sense so that the bigger schools with more money could send more delegates while the smaller schools sell, sell, send less and there's, there's no issue with sending the max amount of delegates. So that was something that was really interesting and we were able to accomplish. If you want to see more details about my plenary session that we had and how I was able to represent Ryerson, I suggest you check it out. But I think Ryerson really showed really well here at CFES PM and I think we will continue to do that in Congress and as there's a lot of things that are tabled and there are a lot of things to come. So thank you so much everyone. Uh, we'll be slowly heading way back to Toronto. Hey Ryan, how are you doing? Uh, so right now we're just chilling, uh, waiting before we head back to the airport for our flight. So we're here hanging out at a restaurant, talking and networking with some other schools. Um, so here I have beside me is the U of T president. Uh, she's gonna quickly introduce herself and talk about her experience here at CFESPM, also being another GTA school. Uh, all right, hi everyone, my name is Shivani. I'm the president of the UT Engineering Society. Um, I thought PM was really great this weekend. I thought we had a lot of really good discussion. Um, what we focused on, I think, which was really amazing, was actually how we can improve the value of CFES and make it so that it affects um, not only people who go to these conferences, but also students and general members through the advocacy work, which I thought was amazing. Um, and I really appreciate the amount of effort that everyone put into those discussions and how willing everyone was to listen to other points of view and come up with a solution all together. Awesome, we'll catch you back at home. Hey, what's up, Ryan? We're on our way home. This is our direct flight back to Toronto. Uh, CFESPM is about an absolutely amazing conference. I think Ryerson contributed a lot, and I think we got a lot out of it as well. So this is our bad boy we're taking home. Um, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you back in Toronto. <laughs> absolutely wild.